Breaking now, in just the last 10 minutes, we have learned that the Missouri Supreme Court has ruled the execution of a man on death row for killing a Kirkwood police officer will move forward. Kevin Johnson is scheduled to be executed in less than 24 hours now for the shooting death of Sergeant William McEntee 17 years ago. Our Robert Townsend is here with the very latest. Robert. Hey there, Sarah. You know, for the past eight hours, we have been waiting and waiting for this decision to come down. But again, just minutes ago, we learned that the case is moving forward. Today, Johnson supporters spoke out. During an emergency hearing in Jefferson City Monday, attorneys on both sides presented last minute arguments in the high profile case of death row inmate Kevin Johnson. It does not benefit this state. It does not benefit our society to kill Kevin Johnson. In July of 2005, then 19 year old Johnson repeatedly shot and killed Kirkwood Police Sergeant William McEntee after McEntee responded to a fireworks call at an apartment complex. The 43 year old McEntee was a husband, father, and he served on the Kirkwood Police Force for 20 years. Johnson was later convicted of first degree murder. Monday, special prosecutor E.E. E. Keenan asked the Missouri Supreme Court to delay Johnson's execution. Keenan said a former St. Louis County prosecutor used racial bias in several cases, including Johnson's. What is happening today at the Missouri Supreme Court is pretty unusual. It's actually unprecedented in Missouri that we have a prosecutor that is trying to ask for a stay of an execution. Meantime, dozens of Johnson supporters and death penalty opponents held signs and pleaded on Johnson's behalf during a demonstration outside the state capitol. Similar rallies are also planned across the state on Tuesday. The Reverend Daryl Gray, a St. Louis pastor and civil rights advocate, is Johnson's spiritual advisor. Kevin struggled with his faith. And one thing that we worked through is Kevin came to the realization that a, a fractured faith is better than no faith at all. And I believe that that's what's getting him through this. But opponents say Johnson's execution should move forward as planned. The attorney general's office argued there was no racial discrimination and the jury was fair and unbiased. Also, Monday, Governor Mike Parson announced he will not grant the 37-year-old Johnson clemency. Now, Johnson is scheduled to die by lethal injection tomorrow night in Bonterre at 6 p.m. We've also reached out to Sergeant William McEntee's family. They have declined speaking any further.